Hey friends, it's Missy again. Thanks so much for stopping in today. I have a new layout to share today. I'm helping Sarah Scraps celebrate five years on YouTube and she's having a big old YouTube hop with a lot of awesome scrappers making videos. So I'll make sure to link all of the people participating down below. So my layout today is going to be using up some scraps because I have a ton of them that I need to use. So I pulled out an old Hip Kit Club kit. I think this is a few years old. This particular pattern paper was designed by Kim Watson, I believe. And as you can tell, it's just a bunch of different paint splotches, which I love. And I thought that I would just start by cutting a bunch of flowers. And this is one of many floral die cuts from Just Nick Studio. I will link that cut file down below but it's basically a bunch of flowers and I like pattern papers like this because when you use them for cut files like this you get some almost watercolor effects on the design and so I just basically cut flowers out of the entire thing and I have another black and white selfie that I'm going to scrap. I uh, actually used a similar photo on a recent layout. It's a slightly different picture, but it was taken during the same couch cuddle session with my daughter. And so I had it already printed out. And since I knew I was going to use a bunch of colors, I went with the black and white photo. I am going to do a lot of mixed media. So I'm going to use thick, smooth, white cardstock for my background. And I'm going to go ahead and coat it with some clear gesso. That is the Art Basics Finibear Clear Gesso. And I just coated the whole thing because I wasn't sure how big my mixed media was going to get. But um, I was trying to decide what color. I tend to use blue and yellow and pink a lot. So I wanted to do something different. And when I looked at all those flowers, I was thinking, I'm not really going to be adding any leaves to them. So I thought, well, let me make up for the green that would be in the leaves and just make a nice green area on the background. And so I was going for a nice springy color of a green. So I pulled out three different shimmers and I'm using Shimmers Celery. I'm using Inkling's Honey Do List and Creamy's Lettuce Get Together. The color that I started with was the Creamy's Lettuce Get Together. And I basically just painted some on, spritzed it with water using the brush, turning the paper sideways and this way and that way and just letting the color run the thought i was having was to kind of have like a diagonal sort of swoosh of color kind of going from the left side of the page all the way kind of down and over to the right side of the page and so i'm just going to mix and match these greens and just make this big green area and so whenever i put the flowers back on top of it, it's going to sort of give the idea of green leaves. Anyway, that's what was going through my mind. And we'll see how it looks when I start to put the flowers back on. Now you can see here, whenever I want to dab up some part of the paint, I'm able to do that with a napkin or a paper towel. And you really can't even tell that it was there. That's because of the gesso. I get lots of questions about gesso and I love using gesso because it just allows you to do so much more on top of the paper before the paint dries. Because once the paint hits the paper and it soaks right through, it's very hard to activate it with water again if you want to make it blend with another color or spread around like I'm doing here. Uh, the gesso plays a very key role in allowing that to happen so and it's not required it just depends on the look that you're going for and here's what I've got so far look how shimmery that is I love that I love that about shimmers because they definitely live up to their name <laughs> they are shimmery so I like how this is looking it's different it's messy and watercolor ish but I just decided that I felt like I wanted to add some blue and this is going to be very subtle. This is not going to take away from the green. I just thought I would go a little bit higher up on the left corner and add some blue. And uh, this is a spray. It's a Vibes. It's called Jenny B Blue. You've probably heard me mention it 8 million times over the course of my scrapbooking career because it's my favorite shimmers ever. Blue is my favorite color and that is my favorite blue spray. 
And so I'm just kind of doing the same thing, spraying it on, adding some water to kind of dilute it, help it to run and blend a little bit more, running it off the page there. And it's going to kind of very softly blend into the green. I don't want this to be a, a dark blue. I just want to have the hint of blue in a couple places. So, and it is a big old wet mess. Yes, you know, if you're going to do this, you have to be okay with messes. I know a lot of people aren't, and that's okay. That's what I love about this hobby is that everybody's style is different and everybody has their favorite things. I love looking at clean layouts and I'm inspired by them all the time. But whenever I'm creating a layout, I just like getting messy. I don't know. I like painting. I like getting my hands dirty and just kind of taking the risk of <laughs> messing something up, you know? But uh, I try to make it work no matter what. Okay, so I'm going to work on the picture here. I added some tissue paper. I pulled out some more papers from whatever month hip kit this was. There was this beautiful ombre paper that I used for something. And then this paper that I've already used for something. I think this was a Simple Stories paper um, that was in the kit that month. This was definitely a summer kit. I just don't know what year. Probably 2018, I'm guessing, maybe. I'm not sure. But uh, it was just the remnants of what I had left. So I thought, you know what? Let's see if we can make something out of what I've got. Now you can see what I was talking about with a slight hint of the blue color. I love how that turned out. I think it's really pretty. It's very shimmery. And I'm going to go with it. So uh, since I've got a lot of green already going on, I'm not going to use any green behind the photo. So I chose the pink and the yellow. And I'm going to pop that up with some adhesive foam because I want some dimension. And then I'm going to start to bring in all of the flowers and just kind of see what I've got. See how it looks. And uh, see how it looks amongst all that green. But I really like how all the flowers turned out. I like that some of them are solid and very colorful and then the other ones are kind of open so you can see right through the petals. And this is what I've got so far. I like it. I'm going to use this as a base and see where it's going to take me. So I'm going to go ahead and glue all these flowers down very carefully. Some of them overlap. Um, I, I just wanted this big cluster of flowers going from left to right and I like how this is looking. Okay, so this is something that I wanted to try. Not that I wanted to try. Let's be real. I always use thread. And I went with the light blue color over to the left, which I liked. And then I added some of this darker pink over to the right. And, you know, normally I would love this. But when I started to look at it, I thought, I don't like the thread here. Because it, it really just makes the background look messy because there's already so many flowers going on. I leave it for now, but I wind up taking the pink thread away. And you'll see what I'm talking about later when I go to add more. Um, I went through all of the embellishments that was in this particular hip kit. A lot of it was exclusive stuff that Kim Watson designed. There was a little bit of some Paige Evans uh, wood veneer. But most of this was exclusive. And I just, I wasn't sure what I had left over. So I just started going through all the die cuts, the puffy stickers. And I found that little colorful rectangle sticker there that says, so happy together. And I thought I might use that. So I just kind of stuck it there to see what it would look like. And um, went ahead and glued the photo down because I knew that that's where that was gonna go. So go ahead and get that done. And then, yeah, I've already removed the pink thread. It just looked a little too busy. I don't know, because the background's busy enough, and it just didn't do anything to enhance that area, if that makes sense. So this was kind of an experiment. I thought I might add a little bit more blue kind of around the photo, but I had already glued everything down, and the green had dried, and it just it didn't work. But you can't even really tell that I did this part. Um, yeah. Not a good idea after you've glued down pattern paper, especially delicate flowers like this, because it's just going to turn everything blue. So I decided to add more blue to the corners. Sometimes I just make spur of the minute decisions and it just, you know, I feel like I have to do it. So I've, yeah, I've already glued everything down. I was thinking you're going to make a mess. You're going to color everything blue. What are you doing? But I'm going to go for it anyway. Yep. 
usually, you know, you want to get your background completely done before you glue everything down. But you see everything's running. Oh, this could be a disaster. But, you know, I like to break rules and, you know, there has to be that moment in a Missy video where everyone watching has to go, oh, what is she doing? You know, this is, this is one of those moments. I know, I know. I, um, I'm a risk taker. What can I say? It turns out okay, but yeah. Get your backgrounds done before you glue everything down. Anyway, moving on. So what I decided this needed was some more solid flowers. So I found this paper in these kits, and this was another exclusive paper that month that had these really pretty bright solid flowers. And I thought, let me just cut some of these out, scatter those around on top of and in between some of these die cut flowers. And I love that. I think it just adds something more. It covers up some of that green background because the more I was making this, the more I was thinking, dang, this is a lot of green. I don't know. The green just got greener. And I thought, I need to cover up some of this green. So I think these solid colored flowers did that. And I like that much, much better. I added some adhesive foam under them so I could fold up a little bit of the petals around the edges for some dimension. And I think that that makes a big difference. So here's another thing about the thread. I tried to add some orange down here at the bottom. And like I said, I just felt like it was, it didn't do anything. It just looked like a mess. I don't know. It, it Usually the tangled thread does something, in my eyes anyway. It adds some texture, it adds some color, and I think it's just the nature of these skinny, delicate flower petals. The thread just sort of blended into those, and it, it made it look messier than it normally does. I don't know. I didn't like it, so I leave the blue to the left of the photo there. That one didn't seem to bother me as much, I think, just because of the nature of that area. I don't know. I leave the blue, and that's actually the only thread that I wind up using, which is a shocker because you know me, I usually add a bunch of thread. But for some reason, it just did not jive with me on this page. And I don't even think you'll miss it in the end, so. All right, going back through the die cuts, I'm gonna use this little hexagon piece that says, so happy together, just because I like the way it looked. And I wasn't even thinking about adding black elements, but when I added that, I liked it, you know, and the photo's black and white, so I've got black elements already on the page, and then in some of the middle of the flowers, the centers are black, and so I thought, we're gonna go with that. I like it. So then I went through my giant drawer of stuff, I mean, random stuff, and found all kinds of stuff that I forgot I had, because, you know, I'm a hoarder like that. I found that love chipboard piece from a, uh, what was it, Illustrated Faith chipboard sheet. I'm going to use that. I like how it looks up at the top. And then this little black clear sticker that says Collect Beautiful Moments. I think these were from Amy Tangerine, one of her older collections. I have some crepe paper puffy stickers that I'm going to try to make work. I don't wind up using that little piece there. This says my happy place. I think that's what that says. I don't use that. Um, but yeah, I found all kinds of random things. Some Maggie Holmes stickers. I really need to just have about a week where I just sit down and go through everything in my craft room because clearly I have way too many things that I forget that I have. So I was so excited to find these things. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to make these stickers work. Just not sure where they're going to go yet. But I do want to use this love piece. And it's kind of a, a reddish pink color. And I think it looks really cute right there. I like the way it curves over that aqua flower. So that's where that's going to go. Collect beautiful moments. I had some time trying to peel it off the backing here. And it's going to go right there. I thought about making that my title but decided that I liked how it looked in between the uh, the L and the E, sort of, on this love piece. Make sure it's straight. And then just kind of play around with the rest of these little pieces. This is another clear sticker. It's just a heart. I'm going to stick that over there. And then I decided to put this good vibes only right there. Just kind of tuck it in between some of the flowers. And then this you and me piece over to the left. So I've got some pops of black going around, which I think enhances the photo and also kind of 
it stands out amongst all those bright colors. These are some more black clear stickers. They're little birds from an Amy Tangerine sticker book. I could not tell you the name of that collection, but um, it was in a hip kit long, long time ago. Found it, used it. Now these are not old. These are currently in the Pink Fresh Studio store. I use them a lot. These are the crystals and the jewels. These are actually the jewels. I'm going to use four different colors there. And I'm going to put these in the centers of some of the open spots on the, some of the flowers. But these are awesome if you like bling and sparkles. They're basically iridescent rhinestones. And they're so pretty. Look how sparkly they are. They have this little iridescent shimmer shine to them. And they do kind of help pick up the color of what's around them. But yeah, I thought those looked cute in the middle of some of the flowers there. And then I thought, I need to do something at the top and the bottom. There's just a lot of white going on, and it was kind of looking boring to me. So this Bella Boulevard paper, or maybe this is another Illustrated Faith paper. Um, but it was in the same hip kit. I liked that the colors matched, and I thought this would look pretty kind of peaking up at the very top of the layout and then again at the bottom so I'm just gonna hack off a crooked strip of the top of the layout and then do the same thing at the bottom I'm gonna cut it and then run my edge distressor over it to kind of distress the edges make them a little rough and uneven and I like how that looks I'm gonna do the paper one direction at the top and then I'm gonna flip it and do the other direction at the bottom so the pink is on the upper left corner and then I'm gonna cut it so the pink is on the bottom right corner and I hated to cut into this paper because it's so pretty but I mean I have to I have to consider my style I know that I'm probably not gonna use this paper as a background you know I, I look at patterned papers and I think gosh this paper is gorgeous but you know, I have to think of, you know, I usually like to make my own backgrounds, and so I'm probably not going to use that as a background, so it's okay to cut into it. That's what I told myself. So these are some of the tiny text sheets of stickers that uh, Bella Boulevard used to make. I'm going to use some of these little black ones, and they're like typewriter font, and I'm going to use Oh Sweet Page as my title. Man, I'm moving fast. I uh, put page in a blue color. And then I did some stitching. That's what I'm showing you here. With some pink thread to kind of finish off some detail up at the top and the bottom. And I love how that looks. I think it echoes the colors and it just gives the top and the bottom a little something. Uh, almost done here. I'm going to add some splatters. I'm going to go back to that Jenny B. Blue. Covering up my photo because we all know what will happen if you don't. You get a big blue splatter right on your face. But yeah, I'm going to add that, and just a little bit at the top, a little bit at the bottom, and then use a little rolled up tip of my napkin to dab that up. And then the last thing I'm going to do is add my journaling, just a couple of lines underneath the title there with my black fine tip sharpie. And then after I stopped filming, I did add some black splatters with another shimmers. It's called Night Moves. But anyway, that's the final layout. I really love how this turned out. I love all the colors. You know I love to use all the colors. And so this was fun to do. And it was fun to dig through my stash and find things that I hadn't used in years and make them work for the way I want to make a layout now. Because, you know, your, your style changes over the years and it's just a nice challenge to make older things look newer. Not that these products are old, but, you know, they're just older, and it was a lot of fun to just revisit them and, you know, make a background that I like to match, and so on and so forth. But uh, I want to thank Sarah for inviting me to take part in her five-year celebration. Congratulations to her for five years. She makes awesome videos. She is the sweetest girl ever. I'll make sure to link her channel down below, as well as everybody participating in the hop. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about anything that I did today or any of the, the colors or products or whatever. And I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.